This is the uh, first test of the new Alpha 17 Laser Defender Laser Jammer. Uh, we only have two heads in this system right now, not a VPR head, just the two standard heads on this vehicle. And we're going to run it against a variety of guns. And I'm anxious to see how this uh, looks. Uh, Ming has indicated that they made some significant improvements in this system. And uh, we're going to be looking forward to the uh, results of that. So please proceed. Okay, we're going to get a baseline with the uh, custom Pro Laser. Gotcha. You can turn around. 1,344 feet at 23 miles an hour. Okay, please proceed. Okay, we're going to get a baseline here with the LTI SXB. No jammer. Gotcha, you. you can turn around. You can turn around. So that was 23 miles an hour at 16, 1650.4 feet. So there you go, you can see the difference. 1650.4 at 23, so there you go. LTI SXP, no jammers on. Okay, we're gonna do the uh, baseline with the Dragon Eye Compact, no jammer. Please proceed. Can't see it. Car is cresting. Okay, I got you. You can turn around. 1,620 feet at 21 miles an hour. Please proceed. Okay, we got a baseline stalker RLR, no jammer on. Okay, car cresting now. Okay, I got gotcha. you. You can uh, come in now. Okay, uh, Stalker RLR, what is that? 1,574 feet at 25 miles an hour. So there are the baselines, no jammer. Okay, we're gonna test against the uh, Pro Laser 4, probably the most popular gun you're gonna see used throughout the country and in other parts of the world, the PL4. Going against the uh, Dragon, uh, I'm sorry, going against the uh, TMG Alpha 17 Laser Defender. Only a two-head system, no uh, VPR head at this point. It's not going to be needed, hopefully, just for these standard pulse rate guns. Proceed, please. We're going to paint the, the entire front as we generally do to find weaknesses. If there are any on these early uh, runs. So I'll be panning from the uh, passenger to the center mass to the driver and back. Back to center, passenger, driver, nothing, no reading possible, pretty much as expected, please proceed. 
Okay, Laser uh, Defender Alpha 17 versus the Custom Pro Laser 4. This time we're gonna do the driver's side headlight. Jam to gun, couldn't get a reading. So as expected, no problems with the uh, standard rate pulse guns like uh, the Pro Laser 4. We will switch to the passenger side headlight. Okay, proceed please. Okay, we're gonna do the now the passenger side headlight with the custom Pro Laser 4, PL4. Two head configuration, TMG Alpha 17. Jam to gun, couldn't get a rating. So as expected, no problems with these uh, standard pulse rate guns. Two heads only. And we're not gonna do as many runs as long as we're getting this kind of performance, which has been totally expected. So it's really where we have the variable pulse rate guns, the RLR, XLR, and the Dragon Eyes, Speed Laser, and the Compacts. That is good to do multiple runs. We're going to keep this video short and to the point. Okay, we are going to do the uh, center mass of this vehicle against the uh, Pro Laser 4. Please proceed. Please proceed. Come at me. Center mass. No reading, jammed the gun. Okay, so we've done a number of tests, but we're actually gonna be showing only one of each of these, a passenger, driver, and center mass, because they're consistent and we wanna keep our test video uh, short. But with the standard rate pulse gun, like a Pro Laser 4, the two head uh, on this vehicle, uh, Alpha 17 has no problems. So we are going to now switch and go to the LTI XXB, which is a uh, high pulse rate gun. Very high pulse rate gun relative to these, uh, like the Pro Laser 4. Okay, we're going to switch guns, so please give me an extra minute. Please proceed. 
please proceed. Okay, LTI SXB versus Alpha 17. Two heads. We're going to just sweep the front and look for any weaknesses. Now, the nice thing about the SXB is obviously quite small, but it's got a uh, EO1. It's got a telephoto lens on it, so it makes it much easier to see a vehicle at greater distance. EO1, which means an error, no reading. We're going to the... Uh, the one center mass, passenger headlight, center mass, driver's headlight. I'm just looking for any area here on the vehicle. E01, error code, no reading. All right, I couldn't find a weakness. Uh, jammed the gun. Okay, so clearly two heads uh, sufficient on this vehicle against the uh, LTI SXB as well. So now we're going to uh, do more runs and we're going to focus on the, uh, the headlights and then we'll finish up with the center mass specifically. So let's see how it does against those targeting points. Please proceed. Okay, TMG Alpha 17 versus the... LTI SXB, and we're going to now target and focus on the uh, driver's headlight. EO1. EO1. EO1 EO1 No rating possible, jam the gun. So as expected, no problem with the LTI guns either. So we're going to switch to the passenger side headlight. Okay, proceed please. Okay, we're going to go with the SXB. Against the passenger side headlight now. It uh, got to jam the gun on the drivers. Consistently. Well, we'll see how it does on the passenger side. Expect it to do the same. EO1 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 No reading, jam to gun. So we've done our runs with the passenger and the drivers. No reading, center mass. So to keep the video short, we're not gonna do repeated runs when we have uh, the same result. So we're gonna finish up with center mass. Please proceed, come at me. Okay, we're going to finish up with these runs here, the center mass, TMG Alpha 17 versus now the LTI SXB. We haven't been able to get a reading on any of these runs. EO1.
Yo one center mass. Yo one. Okay. Jam to gun. No reading possible. Okay, we're going to test the new TMG Alpha 17 against the uh, Stalker RLR. Come on at me. Nothing so far. Trying to find any point on the car in the front. This is just the dual head. Exceptional. Wow. No reading possible. So that is the uh, Stalker RLR against just the two head TMG Alpha 17 no VPR head. That's pretty impressive. They got this gun figured out. Okay, turn around. We're going to make another run. Come towards me. Okay, we're going to come with the uh, Stalker RLR again against the two head TMG Alpha 17 Laser Defender. Last run was jam the gun. We're going to focus on the driver's headlight now instead of painting everything in the front of the car. It's exceptional. Nothing. Wow. Fabulous. Couldn't get a reading, jammed to gun. I got you at 44 feet. Okay, come towards me. Okay, we're going to do the Stalker RLR on center mass at this point and see how we do. Now, there's no third head there in the center, so we just have the two heads.
Wow. Jam to gun, no reading possible. Okay, we're gonna do the Stalker RLR versus the driver's headlight. Next run. Come at me. On the uh, driver's headlight. No readings, distance of any kind. Completely blank. Two head system only, no VPR head. Wow. Jam the gun. Nicely done. Okay, great performance so far. Okay, come towards me. Okay, we're gonna do the Stalker RLR again, this time with the passenger headlight. Wow, jam to gun, no reading. I wanna take another shot at that uh, passenger headlight. Okay, come towards me, please. Okay, we're gonna do another shot at that uh, passenger headlight with the uh, Stalker RLR, which has the uh, variable pulse rate anti-jamming function. So far, this uh, A17 has been doing exceptionally well, even just with two heads. There's not a third VPR head on here. Passenger headlight. Jam to gun, exceptional. Okay, come towards me. Okay, we're gonna do another run with the Stalker LRLR versus the TMG Laser Defender Alpha 17. We're gonna do the driver's headlight again. This will be the third run. First two, we weren't able to get a reading at all. They were jammed the guns. Wonderful. Jam to gun. Okay, uh, get back up there and we're gonna switch guns now. We're done with the stalker. Okay, as you saw, uh, we only had that one brief uh, punch through uh, at 44 feet, which is, you know, you figure there's a 20 feet right to the runway here where we're running this test. So uh, basically jammed the gun. And this is only with two standard heads not a single vpr head on here just two heads mounted up 
in a good position by the headlights. And uh, obviously the improvements to the head design, the algorithms, power stabilization, the CPU algorithms, they're all working well, and uh, at least against the RLR. So we're gonna see how the uh, Alpha 17 does with, uh, I think we're gonna go up with the Dragon Eye next. So uh, let's see how that one does. Okay, we're gonna run the uh, TMG Alpha 17 Laser Defender, two head system only against a uh, Dragon Eye compact. And uh, let's see how it does. It really did well on the stalker. Okay, uh, come at me, please. We're going to paint uh, the whole front of the vehicle here and uh, see what uh, if we can pick up any weakness. Painting the front of the vehicle, side to side, headlight center, drivers, nothing. Got 440 feet at 28 miles an hour. Okay, got you at 28 miles an hour at 444 feet when I swept to your uh, driver's headlight. So this is where we may need the VPR head against the Dragon Eye. Okay, come at me, please. Okay, uh, we're going to use the Dragon Eye here. And we're going to target the driver's headlight Similar. Okay, I got you at uh, 412 feet at 29 miles an hour. Similar performance then. The other one was, I think, 440 feet. So this is uh, 412.9. Okay, we're going to start again with the uh, Dragon Eye targeting the driver's side headlight. This will be the third run. Okay, proceed, please. And we've gotten two punch throughs, one at 440, one at 412. Again, this is only the two head system, so there's no VPR module here, transponder. Being used, just two heads, standard heads. Okay, I got you at 493 feet at 28 miles an hour. So this is an example where you're probably gonna need that VPR head for this gun, obviously, just based on the, this uh, targeting of the driver's side headlight. So we're gonna switch now to the passenger side and make our runs on that. Okay, we're gonna switch and go to the uh, passenger side headlight. We're done with the drivers. Okay, we're gonna do the uh, Dragon Eye now against the uh, passenger side headlight. Proceed, please.
Okay, I got you 225.8 feet at 26 miles an hour. Okay, better than the uh, passenger side by about another 200 feet. So uh, 225, put that in the context of if you're going 70 miles an hour, you're about two seconds. So again, anything under 300 feet, I think is uh, effectively jammed the gun in the, uh, in the real world, at least on the highway. So uh, I'm impressed with the performance with only two standard heads. There is not a VPR head here installed yet. Uh, and we'll do that later on uh, the guns that we get punched throughs. But this is the last variable pulse rate gun. Uh, so we have the RLR, which we did. And now we're working on the uh, Dragon Eye. Okay, we're going to do a run two against the Dragon Eye on the passenger side headlight. Please uh, come towards me. No VPR head, just the two standard heads here. I'm not shooting here because I can't see the vehicle yet. Okay. Interesting how I'm getting occasional tones here, but no speed or distance. Okay, similar performance. 27 miles an hour at 283 feet. Okay, proceed. Okay, we're gonna do another run here. Third run with the uh, Dragon Eye Compact. Front laser. Dragon with the passenger Compact. headlight. Two head system only, no VPR head. It doesn't, it's interesting how it tones a little bit nothing very consistent performance okay gotcha 243.6 feet at 27 miles an hour. Very consistent. We're going to go to uh, center mass now. Okay, we're going to do the uh, Dragon Eye Compact on center mass. Proceed, please. Again, only two head, two head standard, no VPR module or transponder. And uh, the system has been performing pretty reliably and consistently. Center mass. Center mass. Got your center mass, uh, 415.1 feet at 28 miles an hour. We'll do two more runs at center mass. Proceed, please. Okay, uh, Dragon Eye versus center mass, two heads only, standard, no VPR head. Interesting how it tones at that distance. 
Nothing. Center mass. Got gotcha, you, 515.8 feet at 21 miles an hour. We'll do more, one more run on the uh, center mass. Okay, proceed please. Okay, we're gonna do the final run here with the Dragon Eye Compact and center mass. 2 head system only, no VPR head. Okay, much better. 206.3 feet at 22 miles an hour center mass. Again, put this in the context. On the highway, you're doing 110 feet per second at around 60 miles an hour. So that's about uh, less than two seconds between you uh, before you pass the uh, officer. So again, anything under 300 feet, in my opinion, I consider that jam the gun in the practical sense in the real world. So, uh, I think uh, overall, decent performance, or I would even say better than decent performance with just two heads. Uh, obviously not as well as it did with the XLR or RLR Stalker. So uh, we'll put that third head on, which is really what that head is designed for, specifically the Dragon Eye. And as we understood from uh, Facets TMG, that this is about what we should have expected. That's what they found. It was the dragon eye that really dictates in their experiences needing that extra head. Now also keep in mind, dragon eyes are, if they're even 1% of the use. So if you're not in an area that you're specifically, uh, where they're using them specifically, you know, uh, that's something you can consider adding at some point if you wish. Uh, and I think uh, the Pro Laser 4 is about the most popular gun you're going to see being used. This is what we found in the United States as well as Australia, is uh, the PL4 was a, is a popular gun. Okay, so there you have it. We did our, uh, our runs here with a two-head TMG Alpha 17 without the VPR head. And we basically had jammed the gun in every scenario with a quick, uh, with the exception of a quick 44-foot uh, punch through on one of the headlights with the Stalker RLR, which, you know, basically has jammed the gun. And uh, that was just a lucky shot. Are you we... coming? Yeah, I will. I'm just uh, doing a wrap up here. I'll be right there. And, uh, and then the Dragon Eye. So this is where, and this is what uh, I understood uh, from uh, TMG. This is where the issue is going to be with only a two head system. So only against the uh, Dragon Eye uh, VPR guns. And uh, that's about where they expected it to be with only the two standard heads with no VPR option. So we're going to then stop. We're going to put the third head in, that VPR head. That's an option uh, with the uh, two head system or the four head system. You can add those VPR heads. The CPU is the same, fortunately, so you don't need any other equipment, just one extra head. And then it comes with a, a 14 and a half foot cable that you have to get optionally actually uh, for the front and then there's a 23 foot longer cable for the rear so actually you have to buy them separately depending on where you want to put it so cables do not come the extension cables do not come and you only want a single cable you don't want the splitter cables that's really for two heads and you can't run a vpr and a standard head on the same so there are two ports on the back of that cpu one for the front one for the rear basically the vpr heads and so you're going to need to get the cable as an option. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to install it. And then we're going to do the, uh, we're going to rerun basically against the guns where we had a little punch through. I mean, again, the 44 foot on the stalker to me is, you know, one out of three shots that I took. That's jammed the gun, but 
maybe just for good measure, I'll run that again with the VPR head. And then of course we'll do the Dragon Eye runs with that third head. And then we'll see how we uh, see see how we do with the uh, TMG Alpha 17. So we'll be right back. I hope this video was informative. And if so, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe as we will have more videos coming your way. Also be sure to visit RadarBusters.com. They have expert support staff that can help you determine what are the best countermeasure solutions for your particular driving circumstances. Thanks for watching and remember to drive safe, drive smart, but most importantly, drive protected.